In this video, I'm going to show you how to place your waste yarn for a peasant heel. A peasant heel is constructed pretty much identically to an afterthought heel, but in an afterthought heel, you're snipping the yarn to place the heel, and in a peasant heel, you're actually knitting in a row of waste yarn that you'll then later take out whenever you go to put the heel in. I will put a link to that video that shows how to um, put your needles back on your stitches and get rid of your waist yarn and construct a peasant heel. I'll put that link um, in the description of this video so that you can see that as well. And of course that link will also be in the pattern. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to knit in the waist yarn. It's pretty simple. This is my waist yarn. You are going to leave your working yarn attached. Do not cut this, just leave it hanging out there. Um, I have already knit across the front um, 32 stitches of my sock. I'm knitting the size medium. I have 64 stitches total and I've already knit across the front of my sock and now I'm ready to place the waist yarn um, for the heel section. So I'm just going to get this ready. I'm going to leave my working yarn there. I'm not taking that off and I am just going to use my waist yarn to knit in. And I'm gonna leave a pretty long tail, um, that way it doesn't come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and, you know, pull quite a long tail there. And then we're just going to knit across. You are not going to knit in pattern. Anytime you're putting in waist yarn for a peasant heel, you're just gonna knit even. Um, do not follow the pattern because it's going to come out. So there's no, no point in um, following the pattern because it's gonna be snipped out later. Um, I really like the peasant heel because I'm just not fond of snipping knitting. I just find that really stressful. So I really like that. It's just all of the stitches that you know where you're going to put your heel. It's just neatly on hold on waist yarn. It's really easy to put um, the stitches back on your needles um, when you're ready to put the heel in and then you can just knit and you don't have to worry about cutting your knitting, which to me is just so stressful. Um, Steaking's not so bad like when you're doing a sweater or cardigan. Still stressful, but for some reason the thought of just cutting a hole in a sock is just super scary. Um, my dog is outside and he's at the door watching me, which is kind of putting the pressure on. <laughs> like, I wish he'd go away. All right, so now I've knit across the back 32 stitches where the heel is. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut my waist yarn. Um, and again, I'm going to leave a pretty long tail there. Um, we're done with that. Set that aside. So now I've got my waist yarn. We want to leave these strings hanging on the outside of the work so it's easy to get to them when we're ready, when we're done with the sock and we're ready to put our heel in. We also need to get back to our working yarn. It's over here and obviously we've ended right here. So it's really simple. This is what I do um, to get back. I just transfer all of the stitches off of my right needle and put them onto the left. If you hear a scratching noise, that is my dog scratching at the door wanting to get in. So yeah, you're just picking all of the stitches that you just knit and you're just taking them from your right needle to your left needle. Um, super simple, um, only takes a minute, but of course when you're filming a video, it feels like it's taking forever, and I feel all this pressure to go really, really fast, and I'm trying. Almost there, we're almost there. I wish I had a good joke to tell you while I'm doing this, but my mind's blank. I can't think of any really good jokes or even any really bad ones. A bad one would do. Okay, Phew, we made it. So now we're back to where we started. And now we're just gonna knit. We're just gonna put, put our needle in there and then just knit across all those stitches we just worked with the waste yarn. And basically, now you're on the foot portion. You are gonna follow the instructions for the foot. You've put your waist yarn in, where your heel is going to go, and now you're just gonna keep knitting around following the instructions for the foot. And as you can see, 
we've got a nice little line of bright orange waist yarn stitches ready to go when it's time to do the heel. Once again, I'll put a link to that video where I show you how to put those stitches back on your needle and construct your, your peasant heel. I'll put a link to that video in the description.